Hello everyone, it's Scott Omato and this is another video in my continuing tutorial series on the application Multi-MC, a sleek and powerful launcher for Minecraft, guys. All right, in this video, we are going to look at how to add mods, okay? Now, specifically Forge mods. Uh, there are other mod loaders for um, the newest versions of Minecraft, uh, the examples being Rift and fabric uh, and i do have separate videos on those but we're specifically going to deal with the most common group of mods for minecraft by 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 far and that is forge all right so we want to create a new instance uh, i'm going to do a 1.12.2 because forge is not in the newest versions as of yet as of this video and uh there we go there's our instance so we're going to go ahead and click on it and then right click to get a menu and choose edit instance there are also our buttons along the side to do this all right now we have an area here that is uh the area that we can manage forge and see what versions are and stuff like that we are going to install forge with this button along the side and it makes it so easy to do in multi mc and when we open up the window there it's going to show us the recommended version of forge uh, currently but you can select another version in the list sometimes you'll need a newer version for certain mods or what have you in this case we're just going to select the default all right and so that pulls uh, the ability to install forge into your window now in modern versions of minecraft the mods are contained in a mods folder now i'll also do some separate videos on older versions of minecraft but uh, for this there are um, just a single mods folder and you can access that folder here at the bottom select your tab and it'll show you the mods folder and then you can uh, open it here in your explorer or finder by the way i'm working on a mac and windows is all basically the same okay so one of the easiest ways to add mods uh, to this folder is for you just to simply go out to a folder where you have some mods that you've downloaded or what have you and select some and drag them into the window Okay, and you'll see a, on the Mac, you'll see that green plus sign and it'll let you uh, know that you can drag it into the window. All right, but you do have a series of buttons that you can use as well and add is one of them. So it will, you click the add button and it will open your uh, file browser for your operating system. All right, and then you could go through and you could choose uh, the mods that you wish to use that way. All right, so we can select this mod and, and bring it in. All right, now, uh, also, we could go in and browse, for instance, uh, folders from our other launcher. Like you could go through the curse, you can go to Minecraft instances, and these are ones that you have downloaded, all right? Downloaded as part of your instances. And sometimes it's easier to get a group of mods uh, that way, okay? So let's uh, go to the immersive one and go to the mods folder, and then we can browse through uh, ser a series of mods. So here we can get JEI. And we could get, you know, one probe and important mods that you may use over and over again. I think it's the one probe. Yeah, right here. So uh, you need to, you know, be able to select multiples, but you could do that. All right. So we could do that and pull those right into our pack here. Okay. And, uh, you know, journey map and stuff like that would be others you'd want to add. All right. But you also have the ability after you have added mods to manage them. Okay, so notice there's a checkbox next to them and that determines whether the mod is going to be loaded or not. So you can disable the checkbox and the mod won't be loaded. Uh, you can also use the button here, which is disable. So enabling and disabling determines whether the mod is going to be loaded. You also have the option here to remove the mod, in which case it's, it's removed from the pack. And then once we've launched, you would have the option to go and view configs for that mod. Now we haven't actually launched this pack, uh, so we don't have that available. Now you can filter mods here at the bottom uh, by their name and you can actually select a mod and get a link to its information um, sometimes. Yeah, this, this actually takes me to the launch site. Sometimes it'll take you to the CurseForge page. It depends on what is configured in the mods file. Let, let's try one probe, a little bit more common use. Uh, one probe doesn't have a link in its description. JEI does. So it's, it's dependent on the mcmod.info, I believe, is where that's configured. So that takes us to a GitHub page. So it, it just varies uh, amongst where it's going to take you. Okay, so again, that is the basis for doing mods. And you are ready to launch now uh, because 
the two steps are be sure you install forge and you have the correct version of course you want to install the correct version of minecraft um, with multi mc it'll allow you to only choose versions of forge that relate to your version of minecraft and then you want to put in mods that um, are for your version of minecraft okay and then once you do so you can launch and enjoy playing and welcome to modded minecraft guys the multi mc way which is a very clean way of doing it anyway i hope you learned something and hope it's helpful to you and i do so much appreciate you watching and this is scott O'Muddle. have a great day bye bye